End Game Gear XN2 WE Game and Mouse Ting. Let's have a look. Yo, what's good, people? It's Man Light Jammer. We're out here at the End Game Gear XM2 WE Wireless Gaming Mouse. Now, big shout out to End Game Gear. I've not even heard of the company before, but thank you for sending this down for me to have a little check. I'm um, just reading the back of the box. I'm seeing dual mode wireless gaming mouse, Kyle Go optical switches, 80 million actuation, whatever that means. Um, Pixar poor 3370 sensor with up to 19,000 CPI. Is CPI the same thing as DPI? I don't no, lightweight construction 63 grams and a battery that's good for a week's worth of gameplay apparently um yeah let's get it unboxed and see what's really good unboxing looks like it's gonna be pretty much simple to be honest 2 2 wire and that you know young USB C to USB A and we've got the mouse inside as well got a little quick start guide but bad man don't read them things in it <laughs> no I'm not gonna lie fam, the mouse is looking clean. Two buttons on the side there, you got your little scroll wheel there, USB-C socket on the front, um, nothing really on this side. Fam, it feels nice and smooth and grippy though. It's not like it's a rubbery grippy, but the plastic is very grippy fam. Yeah, 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 that feels all good as well. You got a couple of things on the bottom there. What I like about the bottom of the thing, fam, is that it looks like as well as, oh no, I lied. No, 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 I lied still. No, 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 don't watch that, don't watch that. I was about to say you got Bluetooth and you got 2.4 gigahertz, but you've only got 2.4 gigahertz. I don't even know where the receiver is. Found it guys, we found it. You got the little receiver in here, it's got a nice little cap on it. A little chunky receiver too, so you're not gonna lose it. Oh, this is not even a receiver, this is the case. This is the receiver guys, wow, this video is terrible. Um, so yeah, man can chuck that into the computer and thing. Um, it's, I thought this was the receiver, which I do prefer, because it's nice and chunky, harder for me to lose. But it's one of these little tiny ones, which although it is discreet, I, I hope I manage to keep it for longer than two weeks kind of thing, innit? Also on the bottom, you got DPI switch as well and I've noticed that there's like a little button here let me show you when you press the DPI switch it changes the color of that RGB there next to the logo so you know what DPI mode you're on um you can kind of see it from the sides but not much it's more of a thing where you have to literally be holding the mouse upside down I personally prefer a DPI switch being on top of the mouse so that man can quickly touch it when I'm in different applications and things like that but I understand that some people prefer it underneath the mouse because they don't want to accidentally touch their DPI switch in the middle of an eSports thing, innit? So I guess there's there's twos and cons for like both of them locations kind of thing, but me, preferably, especially if I'm just doing a little bit of video editing, sometimes I want high DPI, sometimes I want lower DPI. I personally prefer to have it on the top, but each to their own problem. Let me know where you prefer to have your DPI switch, if any at all. <laughs> like, feels pretty nice on the mouse mat, glides pretty nicely, is it? Glides hella nicely. Click in, feels okay. No issues there. Yeah, all the buttons feel very nice and clicky. Not mad at that at all. And it is lightweight, but I, I'm not one of those lightweight mice warriors, fam. I prefer my mouse to have a little bit of girth kind of thing when I'm holding it. But this thing is super lightweight at 63 grams. I love the fact that it just slides effortlessly over the mouse mat. All right, now let's see if this XM2 WE can get me at least one kill in some raw company. Oh, and Blue is the slowest. Oh, Blue is disgusting. Green, uh, green is a little bit slow as well. Yellow is not bad. And red is the fastest. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna keep it on yellow. I think yellow is the best. Whoa. Not bad, not bad. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Oh but yo, this mouse. Okay, Loki. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Yeah, do you know what, gang? I'm not usually fond of the high sensitivity modes when I'm using a mouse fan, but this one does feel comfortable. And I realized that even when man was playing a little bit of Rogue Company there, it wasn't too hard for me to quickly lift up the mouse, click the DPI button, and stay on whatever DPI I wanted to. Fam. And obviously, man had the little indicator LED there to let me know which DPI man was on. Now, it's just a mouse. I can't really complain. It does what it needs to do. Um, it felt very responsive. I actually got a couple of kills in Rogue Company, Mad Ting. Um, yeah, no, at this moment in time, you know, a couple days later, no complaints with the end game. Well, what's the model number again? XM2 WE. So big shout out to end game for sending this down. Um, yeah, but it looks super clean. It would be nice if it had like a little charging cradle or a little charging dock as well, fam, because man just has to do the old fashioned plug in via USB C. It can be used as a USB wired mouse as well. Um, but yeah, the, the plugging in thing, that's old fashioned, fam. We want to do the thing where we're actually just putting it on a dock <laughs> and letting the dock magically do its thing. You zoom in. But anyway, may maybe for a future iteration, then man can do the wireless dock thing. But for now, yeah, man, it's definitely doing its thing, man. Proper lightweight, too.